It took me 19 years to become an internet sensation. Now, you remember those contacts who are blue ticking and telling me they have gone for funerals? All of them were posting me now on their WhatsApp status, that viral video. Claiming relationships, oh, they know me, oh, I was their desk mate, Makakuzo. I didn't know I had some relatives until that day. <laughs> wow. You know, it amazed me how people who had the time to help you build your career from scratch were not there. But right now, because of this one viral video, they were celebrating me, claiming me. And that is the moment that I realized that as things change for you, people will change in the direction of your fortunes. People don't know about the sleepless nights when you burn the midnight oil, the struggles, the pain, the tears, the hard work. People don't care or even know how I struggle to just get like a decent phone for my content creation. Or how sometimes people can be so cruel to you while you're just struggling with your own changes. So one day my number leaks. The calls start coming in. I had to bar all calls. Then the messages start streaming in. Some of them were encouraging, which I am grateful for. Some of them were flirtatious, which I definitely ignored. The ones that caught my attention were the cruel, unkind ones. You know, I always read about cyberbullying in school. I never really thought about it. I never knew it, it was something that would happen to me or anyone around me. I never, I never thought about it. But there I was, reading all those comments. You are ugly. You look terrible without makeup. Some of them even wanted me to die. It hurt. You know, when I went viral, I made a conscious decision to not delete my old photos and videos. Because in here, I wanted to look back 50 years and track my journey and see my growth. When I became famous, even before I prayed to God to help me never to forget myself, never to lose myself in my journey. I mean, I would have easily deleted them, but I did not. It really hurt me when people took videos and photos of where I could not frame myself well, or where I did not know how to stand against the light, or where I had makeup on or off. It hurt to the core that people used my physical appearance to make fun of me. I mean, I was just getting out of puberty. My body was still changing. And it still is. You know, it's sick and it's sad that in 2022, we still have to talk about body shaming. 